Hey, how's it going guys? Kultimush back at it with an updated version of the top 5 best CPUs for the money. Now, I've been being requested to do this video so much recently. You guys have to understand that unlike GPUs, CPU prices usually stay in line. So it really doesn't make sense to do these kind of videos monthly. I usually have to wait at least 3 months before some dramatic shifts occur. And in this case, not even that many changes have occurred. But you guys keep requesting me to do this video, so I am going to do it. Here we go. Let's get right into this with number 5 on the list. Starting things off with number 5, I went with the AMD Athlon X4 860K 3.7 GHz quad-core processor. Now, this isn't the most expensive CPU in the world at $73, but this is a very good budget-end CPU, and it is still quad-core, which is pretty much essential these days when you're talking about gaming performance. Games like Witcher 3 are recommending quad-cores as their minimum requirement, so you can just see how crazy it's going to be in the next 6-12 to 12 months as all these next-generation titles start coming out. You're going to be seeing a lot of games that minimum requirement is a quad-core CPU. So if you're on a tight budget, you definitely want to look towards this CPU at $73. This packs a lot of performance, and it is quad cores at 3.7 GHz, so this is a great CPU for a very cheap price. For number 4, I went with the AMD FX6300 3.5 GHz 6-core processor. I have recommended this CPU so many times that I've pretty much lost count, but let's recommend it one more time. $97 for a 6-core CPU. It's not the best 6-core CPU in the world, of course. It's $97. Don't expect a lot of performance in games, but it's still fairly solid. And the great thing about this CPU is since it is a 6-core CPU, it excels in things like video editing, rendering, live streaming. And at a price like this, being able to do video editing and live streaming alongside pretty decent gaming is definitely a win. So the AMD FX6300 is just a great CPU coming from AMD, a very reasonable price of $97. It's 6 cores, and games also nowadays are taking advantage of more than 4 cores. Maybe like 12 months ago, a lot of games uh, you saw weren't using 6 cores, but now now games like Witcher 3, uh, even the COD series are starting to utilize the 6 core the FX6300 has to offer. For number 3, I went with the AMD FX8350 4.0 GHz 8 core processor. This processor is an absolute beast for only $165. This packs killer performance in video editing, rendering, live streaming, and gaming as well. This is just like the FX6300 where 12 months ago, having 8 cores for gaming performance just didn't make a lot of sense. A lot of games weren't taking advantage of them. But now with the consoles having 8 cores as well, the FX8350's 8 cores are actually starting to come in handy. It's starting to utilize the 8 cores that the FX8350 has to offer. So in Gaming performance, this is definitely a killer as well. And in video editing, uh, live streaming, rendering, there's no, there's nothing better at this price range at $165. This actually performs, you know, similarly or even better than the i5-4690K in things like video editing and rendering. Speaking of the i5-4690K, coming in at number 2 is the i5-4690K. Just because at gaming, the i5-4690K is unmatched at this price range. 3.5 gigahertz, but the 4690K in particular is a K-series processor, so you can over clock the hell out of this CPU and get a lot more performance out of it. It's still pretty capable in video editing, rendering, live stream, but in gaming, this thing is an absolute monster for around $230. Great CPU, pick it up, it's awesome. I have the i5-3570K, which was the previous generation version of this CPU. Just a fantastic CPU, a great mid-range CPU. You guys are going to love this. The i5-4690K is a beast of a CPU. And finally, number one is the Intel Core i7-4790K. It is quad-core, but it also has hyper-threading, which effectively makes it an 8-core processor. A beast in gaming, a beast in video editing, a beast in rendering, a beast in live streaming, just an all-around CPU. There are some other CPUs like the i7-5820K, I believe, which is a little bit more expensive than this, but if you do have the money, you can go for that. This i7-4790K is around $330 and just packs a lot of performance. Just a great CPU. If you want to do gaming, but you also want to do video editing, live streaming, and the high-end live streaming, if you want to stream at 1080p 60 frames per second, this CPU is a killer and definitely great. You can overclock this CPU as well, but it does come stock clocked at 4.0 GHz, which is really nice. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you have any requests for future videos, if you guys actually have some requests for different regional builds, let me know in the comments down below what region and what currency that is of that region. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Like always, have a great day, and thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.